All right, Betty White. There you go. Have a great day. Thanks. For some in London hungry for food trucks, they can almost taste victory. City Hall will now table a report on February 18th that would get food trucks on public streets, pending an approval from council. And that'll be everything? 975, please. Point, I think uh, based on the feedback from last year um, and, you know, what we're hearing kind of from both the, our customers, the public, and from, you know, different council members, I think, uh, I think we're going to see it go through this year. Yeah, that's, that's it. Just the Beat Street then? Yeah, the potential of having food trucks on public streets has some city councillors fearing the worst. They feel that if they give the food trucks a green light, it will put a fork in the local restaurant industry. I do believe that we're going to have food trucks, and I'm in favour of food trucks, but I'm not in favour of food trucks that will demolize the, the existing restaurants that are there. So I think that we need to be able to position these food trucks in specific locations that it will not interfere. Hi, how are you? Good. To the naysayers, I say the same thing that I, I've been saying since we opened is that, uh, you know, our intent and what my belief is, is that food trucks yeah. can contribute to helping, uh, you know, make making London more of a foodie destination, especially the downtown. While some may be fed up with talking about it, city staff will now draw up a pilot project, look at regulations and consult with the appropriate stakeholders. We want to make sure that we, we, we come up with a project that gets it right and if we don't, we want a system where we can review that uh, at the end and so, uh, you know, this is the first step in a stage of processes. The discussion around food trucks has lasted years and that conversation is expected to spark another lively debate on who truly has an appetite for food trucks once staff tables their report in February. For Inside London, I'm Robert Springett.